Hey everyone, Tony D with another hot take. And this one is about, eh, I guess, I guess it's kind of about representation. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments uh, for my video about For All Mankind, uh, which I was surprised at because it was just a random trailer I saw and, and, and talked about. Uh, but there's been a lot of people, eh, not a lot, but a few people defending this idea that you know, the show's going to be great and, uh, you know, it's an important show because it shows representation and blah, 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 feminism. Um, so I wanted to talk to a little bit about that. The thing is, and I keep asking people this, how does it make the story better that women go to space instead of men? In my view, well, if you, if you take the view that men and women are equal, and should be equal, or or are equal, then the story really won't be any different, right? I mean, they'll just do what the men did. They'll just go to space. The end. Um, so it's not really going to add to the story if you believe women are equal. You may believe that, you know, during this the first space program, there were hundreds of women standing on the sidelines, gnashing their teeth, saying, oh, the men are holding us back. Um, but then you have to say to yourself, if that's true, then how are men and women equal? So if men and women were equal always, you'd have to think that they were equal in the past, right? So how did men get over on women if they were equal? You'd, you'd be able to look in history and you'd see, well, you know, men ran the show for a while and then women ran the show for a while and then it was men again and women. No, it was mostly men running the show for, you know, the, 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 the front part of the, the store, I'll say. Um, I personally don't believe it's that simple. I believe that men and women are just different. And that while women weren't in charge of things in the classic sense of like being the king, being the, the boss, being this or being that, they contributed in their own indirect ways as they have for tens of thousands of years. So to say that men and women are equal is one thought, but then to say we have to correct course correct, because men and women aren't equal, that, well, you have a problem because if men and women are equal, then they would be equal because they have always been equal. So you have to acknowledge that men and women just aren't equal. They're just not the same. It's scientifically proven. I mean, there's science to back it up. I, it's not, it's not that I discovered any of this. It's just common sense. So when you when you're watching a TV show and you're crying about representation or, you know, what other feminist hokum you want to cook up, um, what you're, what, what I, I'm saying is that, uh, you know, this show, who is it aimed at? It's aimed at people who have a fantasy in their head of, women being in charge of the space program or being part of it. They have a romantic fantasy of being oppressed by men. And then this is their sort of answer to that. Aha, we're not oppressed by men. We win. Um, but there is no winning and losing in this. The men who were in the space program, it was a natural evolution of airplane fighter pilots going to the space program. And, well, where were the women fighter pilots? Well, most of them really didn't exist because there aren't a lot of them. There's a handful today, but most women don't want to be fighter pilots. There's nothing wrong with that. Most men don't want to be nurses. Nurses and fighter pilots both perform an important function in society. They are not equal. They're just different. One's not better than the other. They're just two different things. Trying to say men and e 
women should be equal is like trying to say apples and oranges should be equal. They can't ever be equal. They're different. There are similarities. You can try to make them equal <laughs> as much as you can, but at the end of the day, you'll never accomplish that feat because apples are red, oranges are orange, apples grow on different kinds of trees, oranges grow in warmer climes. I mean, you can't make men and women equal. So in regards to the show, who is the show aimed at? Um, I've talked to a few colleagues who are still in Hollywood or, you know, tapped into that. And uh, one of the things they told me, which I, which I thought was incredibly odd, but uh, the new paradigm for building shows is to aim them at a demo that's about 18 to 35 lesbian, which I just thought was crazy until you see a show like this. And then you say, oh, it looks like somebody's following that. Because I could see, you know, this show being very appealing to lesbians. They, they're, they're all female characters and, you know, lesbians are, they, they're attracted to females and, and they live in a world that's, you know, got a lot of femininity in it, but they also have to kind of take charge because, you know, uh, 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 two lesbians, somebody's still got to make money. So um, they still have to fill the roles that, or somebody has to fulfill the roles that men would have fulfilled in a two-person relationship. So, you know, seeing women strive, I could understand why that would be very appealing to lesbians and some women. But that's a very tiny audience in my view. Now, women aren't a tiny audience, but I think the women who would want to see, uh, you know, straight women, I'm saying, the majority of women, I think that's fair to say, um, I think most of them don't want to see, necessarily see a show like this. They want to see a show that generally women like, and women generally like different kinds of shows. They like shows that are more relationship-based. Um, they like... You know, I mean, I've I've reviewed some of the trailers here. There's a romance and a prince and it's Christmas and blah, blah, blah. You can write the rest. You know, this for all mankind, you know, people get on me like, oh, you just can't stand it that there's one show where women win. Not, I don't care. I'm merely stating that it doesn't appeal to me and I don't think the show's going to do well. Because when you build a show, you need kind of a wider appeal than just, you know, women who want to win, women who want to get over on men. Because number one, it's un it's an unrealistic premise. Uh, I got into a discussion with somebody in the comments and it, he was like, well, you know, I, I don't conflate television with real life. His counterpoint was, well, it's got to be based on real life. That's true. Uh, to a to an extent, it's it's based on what we perceive as real life in the movies and TV. But the thing about it is, this is so unrealistic. It takes you out of it. You know, the idea that somehow the space program would have been better if it was all women just doesn't fly. It just doesn't fly. There, you know, the idea that men have been oppressing women for thousands of years. Um. That's a thought, but I don't think it's true. Um, and you can't say men have been oppressing women for thousands of years and women are equal to men. Because if women are equal to men, women would not have let them oppress women for thousands of years. Just wouldn't have happened because they would have been equal and an equal capable person would have said no. Um, I don't, I think the oppression has been romanticized by, by women who, or, or feminists, I should say feminists, because a lot of the commenters, I feel, uh, sound like men who are trying to virtue signal to women like, oh, look how woke I am. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's a fantasy um, that uh, uh, the space program would be better somehow if it was all women. Men and women work together. It should be both. Um, you know, there's no reason it can't be both. And and women 
are evolved differently from men. Men are more competitive. They have a bigger upper body strength. They, they tend to want harder jobs that are more dangerous. Women tend to be nurturing. They like the kind of jobs where they could take care of children and uh, you know, help people and, and be nurturing. And together, men and women work well because of that, because of that dynamic, because of that di difference. So, it, you know, in some jobs, it's just going to be better for men to lead the charge and women to kind of have things ready back at home when <laughs> the men come back all banged up or whatever. You know, uh, it, it, it's just better. It just works better for everyone. That doesn't mean there aren't women on the and men on the end of the bell curve that would switch roles. There are. And that's fine. And nobody really cares. Really. You can argue that back in the day, sure, that would have been a an oddball like that. A, a man who wanted to be a nurse. Oh, you know, you're a sissy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, th those times existed. But those times uh, compared to 2019 are over. And I think the people who are pushing feminism are kind of looking for a dragon to slay at this point. You know, I I was around in the 70s and I, I saw some of that sexism and it was, some of it was really bad and, and sexism and racism. Uh, it was, it was kind of extreme sometimes. Uh, but most people were still real people and just said, oh, it's, it's fine. Fred wants to be a nurse. You know, he's that way. <laughs> people, people would let it go. You know, there are plenty of examples of that. And there were, you know, opposite examples of women who were like, no, no, Marjorie's very capable. You should, you should let her run the construction site. Um, and yes, the people would have reactions because it wasn't normal. It didn't fit the norm, but you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't these two-dimensional people who would just be like, oh, I don't like women in that job, or I don't like men at that job. It was just people reacting to whatever was happening. Um, the other problem with representation in, let's say, movies and TV shows is how far do you go in the representation, right? Let, let's set aside the fact that evolution has made, made men and women different and uh, have made people different, really. Um, how are you going to represent everybody in a TV show? You can't because once you represent women, then it's like, well, you got to represent people of color. Okay. So we'll represent some people of color. We'll have, we'll have a, a, you know, some black characters on the show. Well, you don't represent Asians. Okay. We'll have some Asians. Oh, uh, what about Latino? Okay. We have Latino. And then it just starts to split and split and split, right? Because there are, Latinos who are very fair skin, they're they're like white Latinos, and then there are more darker skin. And then there is a range of colors for African Americans. They they, they you know, pretty light to very dark and everything in between. Same thing with Arabs and Persians and Asians and Samoans and so you you'd start splitting splitting all these groups up, right? You have to get every race in. Do 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 do. You know, the moment you have you know, six races in your show. There's always another race. Like, hey, you didn't, you didn't get us. And then, uh, then you have to get the women version of every version. And you have to. What about disabled people? And what about the gay versions of them? So you're talking about dozens and dozens of different people, and you atomize the audience to the point of one person, right? Everybody's different. You can't represent everyone in every show in every possible scenario. You just can't do it. And it doesn't mirror life. Things just happen. Um, things happen differently in different countries, in different parts of the world, in different time periods, for different reasons. You can't get them all. So your choice is to create a fantasy world that doesn't exist and always only appeals to a narrow audience or to mirror life as closely as possible and just sort of say, well, that's the way it is. Um, or, or maybe just, you know, tweak it a little and make it a little more diverse and inclusive. That's, that's what was happening 
say like 20 years ago. You know, 20 years ago in television and movies, yeah, they'd throw in some different people. They'd throw in a gay character or a black character, both. And, you know, it wasn't like overwhelming the story. Now we have these pronouncements of, well, we have, you know, this gay black superhero or whatever. That's not the story. <laughs> That's uh, that the diversity is overwhelming the story. I think for all mankind is an example of feminism overwhelming the story. I didn't see anything from that trailer that really indicated interesting characters. It's perfectly, you know, fine to have women in it, but make the women interesting. Don't just make them well. They're women. <laughs> yes, and uh, we need something beyond that so we could say oh she seems like a cool character you know and people said in the comments like well you just don't like female characters in your tv shows and movies well that's not true i uh, certainly enjoyed uh ripley and aliens she was a great character um and you'll remember that ripley wasn't the captain of the ship uh she was i believe she was second in command she was very capable, and even the captain above her was capable. But, um, you know, in the end, you know, she was the lone survivor because she was kind of the smartest one. Um, and you could say, well, aliens, that was 1979. There should be more and blah, blah, blah. Okay, make them would be my challenge to you. Uh, I don't understand why people who push this feminist agenda constantly have to piggyback off of things from the past or you know i did my marvel comics video uh, on marvel comics don't piggyback do your original stuff create some female characters and set them loose if you create enough of them one of them will become popular enough that you could do tv shows and movies and you know everybody will be watching it but you know men created a lot of stuff in the past and a lot of it failed Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of characters and movies and TV shows that just were total failures. Nobody talks about. Nobody cares about. You got to do the same thing for women, if that's what you want. Um, and you can't expect Hollywood. Hollywood doesn't owe you that. They're just out to make money. And uh, if, you, if you go with this super pro-feminist agenda, you can see the results. All right? It's not realistic. Um... If you look at a show, what's the show? Uh, Mrs. Soprano was the star. Nurse something. Nurse Jackie. You know, that show ran a few seasons. She was a nurse. You could totally see that. You know? I mean, you can't tell me that the Mrs. Soprano character wasn't a strong character. She was very strong. Even though she was a housewife for a mafia guy. I'm sure as the main character in Nurse Jackie, she was totally a strong character because she was the main character. So shows exist, but you know, you got to keep them in the context of the real, uh, or you got to put them in a fantasy setting that people want. Do people want to see women in space? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think there was a big call for it. I, I, you know, I think it was just somebody's idea. Uh, and, uh, I, I don't think it was a very good one. At least what the trailer presented me. Uh, didn't didn't fill me with excitement. So uh, you, I have to hold you to the same standards, feminist people making feminist TV shows that I hold the men to. If I don't hold you, hold you to the same standards, well, you know what am I doing? I have, I have to give you a leg up because you're you know pushing a women centric thing. No, make an interesting trailer. You know I just watched uh, Dare Me USA Network. Totally psyched for that show. It looks cool. It looks cool and dark and uh, the girls, are, high school girls are main characters. I don't normally like that stuff, but that show, that looks kind of cool. Anyhow, that's my wrap up. Don't atomize your audience is the lesson here. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this representation thing because you could break it down to the individual. It's too much. And that's my summary. But I'm sure all of you have an opinion, so feel free to put it in the comments. And while you're there, check out my books, Wokistan, which is very big on feminism. Got a lot to say about it. Wokistan, a novel. Click free for Kindle Unlimited users. See you next time.